Rufus. Hello. How are you doing? So nice. Didn't expect to vlog today, but I decided I would just do a little quick one. Um, I'm here in the packing room. I've picked quite a few orders to go out today. It's kind of the last call for the shipping dates. It's been the last call for International for literally weeks um, because of the strikes, but it's the last call today for Royal Mail. I think it's signed, no, not signed for it. It's maybe tomorrow signed for it anyway today. But most of the orders are international, so I'm going to start packing them all and get them off today. And then I've got a, an appointment at 12 o'clock to get my nails done, which I never, ever do because my hands are always in water. So there's no point. But I just thought, oh, maybe for Christmas, just for a couple of weeks and then, yeah, back to normal. So I want to catch you up with my knitting over the weekend as well and um, show you what's been happening around here. So glad you could join me today forgot to say i should say what i'm wearing this is pattern actually i didn't knit this it was um knitted by uh, oh i'm gonna get this wrong now i'll have to look up i know the yarn shop was lana trico and i think it's the owner of the shop knitted this i'll have to look up her name and i'll put it here sorry if you're watching that's really bad i'm actually wearing your jumper and i can't remember your name <laughs> But I do wear it actually quite a lot, especially when it's very cold. Um, it's a pattern by Jared Flood. I can't remember which one. Again, I'll put it here. And it was knitted in Alifo Sloppy. And basically she was clearing out her shop, I think. And she thought we'd be the same size and she didn't wear this anymore. So she asked me if I wanted it. And I said yes, because I mean, it's so nice. So I'm wearing that today. So I'm going to start off by packing these orders and I'll see you in a bit. Oh little town of Bethlehem, how still we see the light. Above the dark and dreamless sleep, the silent stars go by. Yet in thy dark street shineth. And fears of all the years are met in thee tonight. For Christ is born of Mary and gathered all above. While mortals sleep, the angels keep their watch of wondering love. O morning stars, together. The holy birth and praises sing to God the King and peace to men on earth and peace to men on earth. I silently, I silently, the wondrous gift is given. So God imparts to human hearts the blessing of his heaven. No ear may hear its coming, but in this world of sin, where meek souls will receive him still, the dear Christ. Hide our sin and enter in, be born in us today. We hear the Christmas angels, their great glad tidings tell. Oh, 
I just got back from getting my nails done. This is only the third time I've ever had them done and I've never had nail art done. And look, this is what they call, oh, focus. Can you see them? No. This is what they call extra these days. Anyway, you get the drift. Very exciting. I feel so polished and so, I just need to do something with my hair now. The fire's going. I was just going to show you briefly where I'm up to with my Lizzie pinafore. Rufus is going crazy in the kitchen. Oh, you can't see him. And um, I'm getting on really well. I'm almost finished the the lacy bit with all the colours. I'm almost past that now. I'm just about to start. I think it'll probably start to do the little bodice part of it soon. Um, so pretty chill day altogether, not that much happening. This afternoon I have no plans and tonight I'm going to meet uh, my sister-in-law. And um, yeah, so I guess you can just knit with me for a while if you want. Hi Rufus. Hi Rufus. Hello, how are you? Goodbye. Yeah, bye. <laughs> So here we go with Oh Rufus, oh big boy. Rufus is actually not an Irish wolfhound, he's a Bedlington Whippet. A lot of people assume he's an Irish wolfhound or a deerhound, but he's a Bedlington Terrier crossed with a blue whippet. Oh thank you, you giving me a paw big boy. Oh you're a good wee critter. Do you want to see my knitting too? You were hoping I was going to say something else there, Ruffy. So this is my Lizzie Pinafore. Um, it's a pattern by Gudrun Johnson. And I am knitting it in Marie Wallen's British Breeds. It came in the weight I needed and it came in small balls and it had colours that I liked. So this is for my little girl. So this is like the dress tunic part of it. And then it goes into like a little bit and then it goes into like wee bodice and then it has two wee straps. So this is so cute. I'm so excited about this. And um, it's flying by. I had a few problems with the start of the row. I'll just show it to you. So at the start it went really well. I think because I moved the start of the row a few stitches on. Um, but... Then it kind of got messed up in the middle and then I moved it back a few stitches on now and it's working again. So this is kind of what it looks like. Let me see if I can show you without it blowing out. Where are we here? Oh yeah. So here you can see, maybe you can't see, just down here the holes are kind of uneven. Yeah, you can see there's some bad holes there some bad yarn overs. It was tricky because I was changing colour and also was beginning a new row and the first stitch of the row was a yarn over so that is why it's went kind of funny. So anyway it's working again now. I don't really want to rip back to fix it. I'll just kind of fudge it in at the end. There's a lot of you know like tails that I can kind of stitch in so I think I'll do that. Rufus is just taking a seat over here on the other uh, <laughs> on the other chair. And what else can I tell you? Nothing really, <laughs> nothing's happening. I'm just enjoying a little bit of knitting time, a little bit of time at home. Tomorrow I might go for a walk, so I might do a little vlog tomorrow. Um, so yeah, if I do, stay tuned for that. <laughs> Thanks everyone for watching my podcast as well. Um, yeah, it seems to be a loads more popular than my vlogs. Um, and I really enjoy doing the podcast. Um, but I need to all, always wait until I knit a bit more so I can show, have something to talk about. But um, <clears throat> I'm glad you're all enjoying it. So I'm going to leave you for now. So hopefully see you later. Good
King Wenceslas looked out on the feast of Stephen when the snow lay round about deep and crisp and even. Brightly shone the moon that night, though the frost was cruel. When a poor man came inside, gathering winter fuel. Hither, page, and stand by me, if I know it telling. Yonder peasant, who is he? Where and what his dwelling? Sire, he lives a good league hence, underneath the mountain, right against the forest fence, by St. Agnes Fountain. Just up here and I'm about to start editing the last vlog. I've got my cup of tea. I've got my biscuit that I made with my niece and a couple of cheese oat cakes. If you haven't tried these, these are Nairn's cheese oat cakes. They are so addictive. I like can't stop eating them. They're really good.